Howdy, this is Mackenzie Franklin from Side Game LLC here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. And today we're going to be talking about my top 10 board game crowdfunding campaigns from 2021. So this is the start of the best of the year series, all things 2021, the best from this year. Super excited to talk about it. Now that being said, if you aren't subscribed to the channel already, please make sure you are. It is the best way to help this channel grow. But that being said, let's go ahead and jump into things. Now before we start, I do want to talk about three three honorable mentions, and these are for specific categories. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now, first off, the best promo campaign is going to go to Man vs. Meeple Season 4. And this is kind of special because this is still on Kickstarter right now. You can go jump on it. Now, this is fantastic because they have a huge amount of promos for some value. 60 bucks for the all-in, and that's going to get you all sorts of fantastic promos. A lot of different YouTube channels will go ahead and jump onto these campaigns and they'll offer maybe a couple of promos here and there for kind of a big price tag, but this price tag here gets you so much content. You get every single promo here and it's just really worth the value. You have some fantastic games and a lot of mini expansions included in these promos, which is amazing. So kind of a huge copious amount of content for games that you already love. So super excited for the Hadrian's Wall one. I love that there's new mosaic stuff, stuff that's not even out. So you're going to have this expansion for a game that is super excited to already arrive. So very excited to see where this one lands and check out all this content. Up next for the best miniatures, this is gonna go to Mythic Battles Ragnarok, particularly the Titans. And my goodness, do these look amazing. So Ymir here is an excellent take on this frost giant, absolutely terrifying. I love how lank he is and just how terrifying his whole structure is. Amazing, these Titan miniatures just look so good. We also have some other cool characters in the form of Jorgmund. This just looks amazing. Look how just how he twists and he turns. Amazing once again. And lastly, the one I talk about is Sert here. I just love the way he's got that come at me bro stance. He looks incredible. I can't wait to see what they do with these tight miniatures. And oh, just look at these. Fantastic. Super excited to jump in. And lastly is Spires and Hildegard. This is for the best artwork in crowdfunding board games. And this is just absolutely enticing. There's so much character and so much just oozing out of these different colors. I love the way that this is built. This just really reminds me of fall colors and I just can't wait to dive in here. Let's just take a moment to appreciate this fantastic Scarecrow artwork. So super excited to dive into this game and this artwork is just absolutely amazing. Love it. That is the best artwork for Spires and Hildegard. And that takes us to our list. Let's go ahead and start with number 10. My number 10 is going to go to the game Voidfall, a David Turchi, Nigel Buckle co-design, the same team that brought us Imperium Classics and Legends, and it's published by Mind Clash Games with art by Ian O'Toole. I mean, what more can you ask for? This looks absolutely wonderful. Solo, cooperative, competitive, with a very solid card play core system at its helm. This is a wonderful experience waiting to happen. I love the idea of putting this 4x system into these trusted designers hands and I'm super excited to see how it plays. This theme really seems like it plays well and will help with learning the different mechanics of the game and I just cannot wait to give it a try. The different factions, the houses look so fascinating, the different boards, the artwork is wonderful. This is a game that I cannot wait to dive into. I really do hope that the complexity is helped through the thematics, similarly to Anachrony, and I do hope that helps us get to the table, but super excited nonetheless, and I can't wait to play a game from some trusted designers. Super excited to see how this goes. That is Voidfall, my number 10. My number nine is going to go to the game The Witcher Old World, an adventure-style game in the vein of something like Outer Rim or Western Legends, where you play in the Witcher universe as a Witcher. You're going to be doing your best to gain coin, gain infamy, upgrade your own deck of cards, as well as hunt monsters and bounties in order to win the game as the most dominant Witcher. Now, this really has me with its featuring of a special combat system that reminds me a lot of Tainted Grail, my favorite part of Tainted Grail with kind of comboing and chaining cards. So I'm excited excited to see how that shows up here. You have lots of unique characters, unique monsters, and every round you're going to have some sort of story and adventure that you're taking part in. Super excited to dive into all of these different monsters and the way that they present themselves and the different flavor from the Witcher universe. Sounds fantastic. That is my number nine, The Witcher Old World. 
My number eight is going to go to another trusted design team. This is Paperback Adventures from Tim Fowers. This is a roguelike novel deck building game where you're going to play with one or two players as you level up your deck of cards, use it to complete these small adventures, and really have a great time with a word style game. I love how this works. You have different stories, different enemies, lots of variants in gameplay. This is going to be a game that you're going to be diving into quite a bit. It uses game tray systems, so that's going to not only help with the setup, but actual game gameplay help and these character boxes just look so much fun with their own unique gameplays. I love this evolution on the paperback system and I cannot wait to get started and dive into these dungeons. Super excited, let's jump into the next one. Up next we have for number seven, Iridia, The Paths We Dare Tread, an adventure style game that has an amazing setup system. So first off, this is just a adventure in a box you have all sorts of these large map tiles and in those map tiles you are going to kind of zoom in on them so you'll go to a large tile and inside you'll have these map cards that'll create areas that you can actually interact with and in those interactions you'll have fights you'll have treasures you can find puzzles characters you can interact with and lots of customization throughout there's all sorts of different characters that you can dive into and everything has been upgraded to the max this is from the same designer of Zaya Les of a drift system so super excited already great track record behind it but lots of customization once again you have that map that you're going to be visiting and flipping things it reminds me of rise of queensdale a little bit with that discovery the locations will evolve as you enter but the biggest thing here let's just go ahead and, and take a look at how beautiful this looks the setup here and just jumping into it looks wonderful and on top of that it employs a combat system that reminds me a lot of sleeping gods with the way you're kind of puzzling out things super excited to jump into this it looks wonderful can't wait to play that's iridia the paths we dare tread my number seven my number six is going to go to the game Darwin's Journey. Once again, another trusted design team, Simone Luciani and Nestor Mangon. And this game itself looks wonderful. You are going to be taking Darwin's Journey through the Galapagos Islands, exploring evolution. And you're going to do this through a very unique worker placement style game where you're actually going to be increasing the ability and potency of your different workers through this very cool seal system. So you're going to be boosting up these workers and really seeing this engine building play out from turn one. The components look amazing. This deluxe edition is wonderful. The art is great, and I cannot wait to see these mechanisms in action. Very straightforward, very simple approach to this style, but lots of little things that make it really stand out innovation-wise. I cannot wait to jump into this. There's a fantastic looking solo mode. It's got a digital soundtrack that goes with it, and this collector's edition is lovely. Metal coins, wax seals, cotton bag, amazing stretch goals you have so much stuff ready to go bookmarks galore cannot wait to jump into this one and cannot wait to see what this design team has to offer so that's number six darwin's journey my number five is going to super fantasy brawl round two my favorite skirmish game two player head-to-head -head style with objective base scoring systems as well as knocking out opponents but this just comes with more characters it's going to double the amount of content in the box and it's going to have you being able to play with more matchups than you can imagine i love this system already this head-to-head -head style and this is just more of the things that i love and through the kickstarter you can get these really fancy foil cards that when you do level up you'll get to show them off it looks great but doubling the content in the box just sounds amazing. The round two teams have some really fascinating characters with kings and knights, this hot trick set with lots of characters with fancy headgear, mental might with things like jimmies. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to jump into this. And you can also access all of the old content if you're trying to get into the game. I cannot recommend this game enough for two player head to head style. It is one of my favorite experiences. Absolutely wonderful. This is super fantasy brawl, a 10 out of 10 game for me. Up next is my number four, next in the series of story games from Awaken Realms. This is ISS Vanguard, a storytelling game that's similar to something like Star Trek. Your entire planet has forged to build this space exploration ship and has sent you out into the galaxy. You have all of this content that you're going to be going through that's all based on exploring these different areas. Now you do this through a ship book that you're going to be able to manage. And you'll take those characters into a dice placement game on all of the different planets that you decide to explore this core pledge right out the gate looks amazing 
we are treated to sun drop like normal from these awakened realms kickstarters and it just looks absolutely wonderful the world and the setting that they've created here i love the playthroughs that are present and the different paths that you can take throughout the style of the game and i was so impressed with ether fields that i think that this one is a no-brainer for the next in this storytelling series i'm so excited to check this one out and i'm so excited to explore the universe that's my number four ISS Vanguard. My number three goes to Too Many Bones Unbreakable, another 10 out of 10 game for me that I know I already love, but this one has you going underground into this magma-filled, treacherous area. Now, the way it works is you're actually going to have a map that has tiles that are flippable, as you can see here. And you'll be moving around and interacting with there. This is a standalone expansion, so it comes with two characters included in the core box, but also has lots of additional characters that we can dive into. The stretch goals have made this even more deluxe than it already is, new baddies, new nemesis, new battle mats, new trove loots, new tuck boxes, characters, rulebook, updated rulebooks, fantastic, new epilogues, new campaign implements, new characters abound, and I just cannot wait to dive into all of this new stuff. I love Too Many Bones. It's one that consistently gets played, and new tyrants, what more can you ask for? This is going to round out the trolls and the orc factions, as well as the different poison factions. I cannot wait to see what's in store for our adventurers in in Daylor. And how could I not mention the new Gearlocks, particularly Carcass, where it actually comes with a cookbook, because this character is a cook, and the whole idea is you get to chop up baddies, put them in a stew, and then serve them to your fellow Gearlocks. I cannot wait to play this character, probably the character that I'm most hyped for. So that's my number three, Too Many Bones Unbreakable. My number two is going to go to the game Earthborn Rangers, another design team that I trust absolutely. Same creators of Marvel Champions, Arkham Horror, the card game, Lord of the Rings, the LCG. This team has brought me some of my favorite experiences, and it's my favorite style of game here. This is just promising to be a wonderful look at a new style of post-apocalyptic world where nature has pushed back and it's reclaimed what it had lost initially. I love this look at taking the idea of a ranger and exploring the area. You are in this awesome Pacific Northwest area where you are exploring mountains and seeing what you can do to better your community. The game features a new take on deck construction, challenge systems, and narratives. I really like the approach here and the way that the entire system plays. The gameplays that I've seen so far have been intriguing and enticing, and I just cannot wait to explore this world. In addition, this game is completely sustainable in the way it's being produced, and I think that's just a fantastic way to allocate Kickstarter funds in addition to additional Kickstarter exclusive content. So very excited to get my hands on this game, and I cannot wait to dive into this world that I trust these designers with so, so much. So that's Earthborn Rangers, my number two. My number one has to go to Primal the Awakening, a boss battling game of cooperative card play. Now this features amazing gigantic miniatures that you are going to be doing your best to fight in a Marvel Champion style way of card management. You're going to be using cards to pay for other cards and the weapons that you bring with you determine your loadout. You have this large map in the center with this character that's going to be moving around and you and your other teammates are going to be jumping around doing your best to stay out of its range as but tactically defeat it and hopefully skin it, bring it back for parts. So a lot of this crafting system that I love from other games, but in a scenario fashion, that means that it's going to get played and it's going to be a blast. There are so many different hunters that you can choose from, different weapons and loadouts that I gotta determine what the deck of cards you're actually playing with are. The monsters all are unique and challenging. They have their own different stances, their apparel, objective cards. You have different behaviors. So the AI on this looks extremely fascinating. And I love how tight intense the map is. I love that you're really going to be up close and personal with these creatures and doing your best with your cars every round in this extremely tactical manner. I love the idea of this game. I love the different characters that you're going to be fighting. I love the system already. I love the way that this game presents itself and I cannot wait to jump in. Let's go hunting in Primal the awakening and that's my list those are my top 10 board game crowdfunding campaigns on kickstarter and game found from 2021 what did you think of my list any campaigns that i missed that needed to be on here what games are you excited and what things did you back i'd love to hear all of this in the comments below but thank you so much for watching side game strong